This is a BMW 320D, an incredibly talented, brilliant to drive small diesel saloon. For just 30 grand in snazzy M Sport trim, you get 184 horsepower and a 0 to 62 time of just 7.5 seconds. What more could you want? Well, maybe this. It is a BMW, but as it's been tuned by specialist company Alpina, its performance promises to be very different. It's called the D3 by Turbo, and for just £750 over the normal car, you get uprated suspension, a sports exhaust, smarter wheels, and an extra 27 horsepower. So why wouldn't you buy the Alpina? Maybe the BMW has the answer. Now, what I like about this BMW 3 Series is that even on plain old diesel versions like this, you get a really good chassis underneath you. It's sort of well weighted, it's not too light, it's not too heavy, and the grip comes and goes. I can feel that through the steering wheel, but then all of a sudden I hit that sort of diesel wall where nothing is going anywhere. So, let's get on with a fast one. Catch the apex and then launch it out. But again, I hit that ooh, diesel stoppage at about 5,000. Come on, you don't feel acceleration. Drop straight from fifth to second. That's the beauty of manual gearboxes. Oh, a bit frisky there. We're spinning our inside wheels. The traction's all off. Ooh, a fighter. That's going to be a good finish. And the BMW 320D crosses the line in 1 minute 25.9. Over to you, Alpina. So with this Alpina D3, surely the only question is, how much faster is it going to be? Are there any drawbacks from what they've done? Have they spoilt the handling? Oh, 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 oh it's a bit friskier at the back. They've upgraded the suspension, probably made it a bit stiffer. They put a big snazzy rims on it to give it a bigger footprint on the road. So more rubber, more grip. It should be a lot quicker. Well, shootouts are all about what's fastest. Start the clock. Certainly notice the Alpina engine holds the power higher up into the rev band. In fact, it revs about 5.1 quite freely. At the first checkpoint, the Alpina is ahead by a tenth of a second. The overall feel is very similar. It's just that engine characteristic helping it pull out of the corner better. By the second checkpoint, the Alpina has increased its lead to 1.1 seconds. It's got to be quite a bit quicker, surely. And the Alpina D3 crosses the line a colossal 1.7 seconds ahead of the BMW. Yes, there are downsides to owning the D3, such as poorer fuel consumption by some 8 miles per gallon and a shorter warranty period. But it's smoother, smarter, rarer and significantly faster. And that makes it my kind of diesel.